Yeah, amateur hour, I guess. We'll add that to the list. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. Another gorgeous fall day. So, I was going to say let's dive in and uh, start diagnosing this. Probably going to have to split it, but we got to take the blade off. But what we got to do first, because we may go back and cut some grass. Um, we'll, we're going to be short on it um, because of how poorly uh, planned our breakdowns were this summer. The mower breakdowns. That put us weeks late. So... The rake has all sorts of arms that had had issues. Um, we did get all new tines for it. We do have to figure out how many pieces we need. So, how many inserts and things like that. And how many arms, and then I'm gonna order them up and I don't think we'll have them in time. But that, that and figuring out what my father hit with the mower are the priorities, so. Appreciate you guys watching along. Let's dive into today and see what we got. So, yeah, like that hole. So, one, two, three, four. shafts that we need on the front and Fourteen shafts. That might be fifteen. Fifteen shafts. And some of the most of the arms that came off they bent when they came off. So fifteen shafts. One, two, three, four. Four, five. Five arms. Yeah. Some of them are those split arms. We never take them off. So 15 shafts, five arms. I'll have to see exactly what we need. Alrighty, let's go jump on the computer. Well, actually, I'm not done seating. I did call. What are you out here doing? Everybody says you want to see some calves up action. Inko's over here hanging out with them. He was eating something. What? What were you eating? You were gonna roll around, weren't you? Or did you just want to belly rub? So, there's some calves up. So I'm gonna stop tomorrow. We're gonna put some rye in and see what, how it compares side by side. Seed. So I'm gonna get uh, 200 pounds of rye. We're gonna put it in the spots that I missed. You coming? So I really like Coon's website. Uh, let me see if I can go back. For those of you who are not using anything Coon, I like their website. This past year has been absolutely horrible for service uh, as a company they've been using the COVID excuse quite a bit and I can understand some of it but so the whole thing so front rotor here's a whole breakdown of everything so this is a shaft let me zoom in 
this is the shaft that we have issues we have some bad ones you got your seal at the end you got the snap ring at the other end of it you got a washer and then you got the arm that actually rotates on it I don't know why this is so there we go the arm that rotates and it has the follower that goes in like the roller coaster inside so you got four cotter pins all together one roller a washer so I got all that 15 of that um, outside washers they come in packages of 10 so you gotta order two of them and then I went down here and well where else did I do no that's the inside rollers the followers um, arm roll pins so over here I got tine arms and then we got removable arms so this is the full length piece so I got roll pins 30 of those uh, the arms I gotta go count what I need for which and then I got tine arms removable um yeah so then I just need the half of that and the roll pins are the same of course so there's there's a right and a left arm no I don't know why it says arm and that's the only thing that com that says coon red the color which I always thought coon was orange but I guess not then the wheels um I got both bearings I got eight of each so number six and number seven <laughs> Whoa. And then I needed that pin. So on the front, uh, was it wheel column? What did I look up? Yep, wheel column. So number uh, 37, which is a pin. And there's a 38. 30, what's 38? Oh, it's up there. So I got my list together. The only things I got to figure out is how many removable and how many full arms I need. And then I went out to the mower. And I gotta pick it up and we're really gonna verify, but I'll go back into this. So if I go to home, I should have this internet slow here. So we got, oh, we don't have the new mower in it. So we gotta go get the new mower. Our old mower took, even though it's an FC303 GL, you look it up as an FC303 GC, because an FC 303 GL, let me show you, is not actually the right mower, which is, it's it's wild. So the thing I look at, ours doesn't have the panel like that. So number 30, I forget now. Um, no. Let me look it up. 90. So, ours does not have this style housing with that shaft and that round top, things like that. They have it as a different style where if I go back and I click on the GC, and this is what drove us crazy the first time we ever had to get parts for it. Spare parts open online and I go back to 90 this is our style that's in there um, oh no I clicked on the wrong one again like we don't have that shaft oh I clicked on GL again oops my bad I was gonna say FC GC spare parts online and this is, being a parts guy, I give them hats off. Like, the good ones are really good. Um, so, see, a GC has a, is a center pivot, or a center swing. Has the right hookups, things like that. The, the whole front's right. So, they made some models that must have put different things. Because outer barrier carrying, this is what we always had issues. This is how our style. The other one had this whole shaft and everything. And this is that gear that we've had problems with on that other one so it's back ordered imagine that stationary baron 500 740 or 570 i forget it's an expensive thing so granted that other mower has been working there's some issues with it um but it it ran so but uh all right i gotta go out get the part number or the serial number for that other mower because well we haven't bought any parts for it but 
I think my father hit something pretty hard. Because uh, laying underneath it in the dirt, uh, it looks like there's some stuff that's bent. So we are just going to lift that up and uh, look underneath it. I'm pretty sure the skid plate is just smashed up. I'm hoping the nothing, not more is bent, but we will see in a second. That's a big grasshopper. Still got to run through this thing at some point. I'm not too worried. We're going to put new tines on that. At some point, we'll find an 8-row corn planter. I watched a 12-row Kinsey 2200. So, like, one of the older black ones. 12-row, but front fold. Um, sold for $4,800 the other day. Yeah. Probably should have bought that. Alrighty. Let's go lock the arms and see what we got. But I want an 8-row. I feel like a 12-row would would cause too many issues for us as far as smaller fields unless we had shutoffs on it so lock those safety we got it up already so with more screwing around it hit and bent this down so this side's bent and this side's bent barely let me there we go so that's bent way down and you can see it when it's like over here you can see there's no gap where there should be pretty decent well, decent gap eighth of an inch maybe three sixteenths so when it comes around it scrapes on the back which it shouldn't do that oh, and that's what's doing that so it must have been bent more must have hit that bent it down and then when it came up over this it bent itself straight so skid plate has some messed up on top structurally and what it's actually meant to do it's okay there um it looks looks okay across you know what? maybe it doesn't look okay definitely bumps up right there so new skid plate a new top cover here uh and then we'll be back at it so yeah, somebody was mowing and wasn't paying attention and smoked a big rock. Yeah, amateur hour, I guess. We'll add that to the list. We got to go put this this in the computer so we know. Um, serial number, I think, is on the other side right here. Is it? Nope. Okay, where's the serial number on this? What are you doing? thought it was up there here it is so coon north america coon mower gmd 3151tl and then we'll take a picture and put that oh actually i think we can take a picture and pulls it right up high tech so we have been a really big fan of how this was running i'm still a fan of it I'm just not a fan of people hitting rocks. That's our that's our issue, right? You ever hit a rock? We've all hit rocks, but usually not in short grass and a big like a rock the size of a I don't know that tire, maybe big two of those tires. So it's clearly there. Um, no conditioners. I truly think that's the way to go. Even if you're doing dry hay, I think it dries way quicker. I think it does a better job having it all laid out. If you had, if you could do conditioners and have it still lay all the way out, that I, I'd be a fan of that. Cool. Alrighty, let's see. Let's see if it does it. Oh, it was gonna do it. Hold on. <laughs> Keeps coming up, and then I click on it. There we go. Shortcut. So one removable. And then the rest are all. Oh, I guess we gotta walk back out there. I don't really remember exactly. So we got one removable in here. One, two, three, 
forearms right there. Okay. I got one removable. Um yeah, we're lo we're learning. Slightly losing it. Mostly learning. With this truck, somebody said you should re rebush these. I've never actually put bushings in them, and I'm not exactly sure what I needed, but it's egged up to the front a little from it riding on it. Let's see right here. So I didn't know. So they were actually, they sent them the wrong one. They sent them a two-piece one, and I'm gonna, I got to weld it together. So you cut it and weld it. Um, so they said tomorrow, which I don't really need the truck right now. We'll need the truck to haul manure, but we're a little bit out from that. Still got to take the corn head off. Plan for that is go through it all, do everything all winter, get that all done. Um, and we got to switch back to grass. So still haven't got the big head going yet. That's going to be a winter project. I'm just running out of time. In previous videos, running out of time and help. So I'll go over count how many we need again we needed 15 completes so one i don't think any of those were halves well 15 so we need 14 of arms and we need uh one removable there we go got it figured out had big motivation that we were going to get the blade off the 7520 and uh then I got on an auction time and proxy bid and well, the day is kind of disappearing us. So at least we got this list. We figured out what's wrong with the mower. Order these parts tomorrow. Um, what do I got to do tomorrow? We got to pick up the rest of the seed tomorrow. Um, so we can finish. Hopefully we'll go get it. We'll come back. We'll seed. I got work. Mo Every day I work lately. So as far as for the dealership during the weekdays, some weekends, but we try to keep it to the weekdays. Um, so that's what I do in the morning. It's not like I show up here at six o'clock and I work all day and I only show you a little bit of it. But yeah, got some ideas for uh, the future as far as equipment. So wrapping my head around it, trying to find the right deal. But appreciate you guys watching along on this video. I know it's short. A little bit of uh, figuring out things, talking about life, but appreciate you guys, and I'll see you on the next one. I'll leave you with this, though. It's a hell of a sunset.